Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I am back and I hope you all are doing well. I'm back with another new video. Today's video is all about text based operation in attribute table of your ArcGIS using Python scripting. Before things getting started, let me just give you a preview. What are those things that I'm going to conduct uh, or include in my uh, video? First of all, I will be showing you how to join two or more columns using Python codes. Secondly, uh, putting all letters either in uppercase or lowercase in your attribute table column. Thirdly, capitalizing a word as given in proper noun. And fourth, last but not the least, is uh, to create a customized letters uh, from uh, a word. I mean, one or two word picking up from uh, one or two letters picking up from a word. So all operations are going to be explained using Python scripting. So it's a very significant video. Uh, so don't miss any portion. I hope you will be keeping watching till the end of this video. So without further delay, let's just jump into our tutorial. So to do so, first of all, we just need to go to the open attribute table option. And I have with me the uh, Chatak Paurushava. That's the municipal part of uh, the district called Shunamgos in Bangladesh. There are many I mean, segments as a column in attribute table. So to create a new column, that we have to open up the add field this option uh, before that i want to admonish you that uh, to allow this option you have to turn off your enter option otherwise uh, it won't be open so add fill calculator let's just name our column as uh, tutorial this name and the type of name would be text based then go ok there is a new column has been successfully added at the end of our attribute table now the first task that I'm going to perform is this uh, district name where is district name this this district name and upojala name that I'm going to merge or put together in a single column. So first, to perform these tasks, let's just go to the fill calculator. And there is an existing code here, okay? BB script and Python script. You should go with Python script, okay? Now, you have to drag two columns that we, you are wanting to put together. My first one would be Upojela that I have dragged in. Put a plus sign between them and then it will be followed by the other column that you were wanting to merge with that one. District name in my case. Okay, you are all set to do. Go with the OK option. Here is the result. I have been handed over this result chart the Upojala name and the Shunamgons the district name yeah there is a distortion and anomaly I would say in terms of reading transparently and easily that there is no space between these two words so to fix this problem let's just go back to our code block and put a space within an inverted comma space inverted comma extra class could be added okay i have done this now successfully a space has been added between these two words now it's very handy to read out one more thing that i would like to do with this column with this uh, tutorial i mean chatok or shunam Gons wording usually when we are ranking something lower order to higher order just we put a comma between them so let's just do that in this case 
if I just put a comma, it will mean that cattle under Shunam Gons. Okay. So we are all done with our first part of tutorial. The second part is putting all letters either in uppercase or lowercase. So uh, which column should we choose for this portion? Okay, let's just choose or opt for this village name. Okay, so village name, our result will be reflected in this column, although we're gonna work with the other column like village name. So go to fill calculator and if face your prior code, okay, village name. Where is the village name? This is village name. Okay. So with the village name, what I am going to do? Yes. Village name should be all uppercase. Okay. So just write upper and like this one. Go. Look at this. Now I am going to turn these all name from uppercase to lowercase nothing is needed except just put a dot and uh, write lower and go with the okay now okay look at this all word are in right now lowercase so we are all done with our second portion of tutorial now it's followed by the third one capitalizing a uh, uh, capitalizing words in a column so the same column village name i am going to use for this purpose look at this village name all are in uh, uppercase i mean capitalized all word so i am intending to uh, just put the first letter of each word in uppercase and rest of the letters should be in lowercase so to perform this work i have to use a function so as usual go to fill calculator in this time you have to click the show code block your logic i mean you should first import its string okay a function has been imported that function name is a string now under this function string we are going to perform another sub function called cap words am i right in terms of spelling cap words I think so okay sorry now the column you were planning to put in capitalized form just drag this one in my case village name sorry just control X and V okay sorry now you are all uh, set to go look at this baula paper mill sharma all these are in capitalized form that means the first one is in capital form capitalized form and rest of the word letters are in lower case so now we've completed the third portion of our tutorial now we are left with the fourth one that is to pick up uh, customized letters as many as one two or three from a particular word in a column in my case i'll be picking up i mean first three letter of district name called shudangons so to do so just we need to go back to our code block here is an existing code i have just defaced it drag district name 
and uh, write third bracket zero colon as I'm wanting to uh, drag just first three letter just put here number or visit three close the third packet you are all done just click OK now look at this S U N uh, that is nothing but the first uh, three letter of show numbers so now uh, this is how we can use our Python knowledge uh, while dealing with various types of text-based operation in your attribute table in your ArcGIS. So that's all for the time being. I hope you guys have liked my video. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel and I will come up with another new video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.